Hey YouTube, welcome to day three of the credit challenge. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between the FICO and Vantage Score scores, okay? So real quick, my name is Nadria. I am a personal life coach that helps you out with your finances, your businesses, anything that you need help with. And the FICO and Vantage Scores are two different ways that creditors and lenders can basically measure how credible you are so that they can go ahead and lend you a certain amount of credit. Now, there are many different ways that, you know, these lenders can go ahead and measure your credit worthiness, but FICO and Venture Score are just basically two of the ways that you will be monitoring yourself if you are personally looking into your credit. So the first two days of this credit challenge, I had you look at your credit report from um, the freecreditreport.com. And then we also started monitoring your credit from Credit Sesame, Credit Karma, and then Experian. So all of those different sources have different scores on them for a reason. And I'm going to go through those reasons right now. But it's most importantly to understand that those scores have a range from 300 to 850 points, okay? Basically, the FICO score looks at millions of consumer credit reports at one time and coming up with a score, right? While the Venture score uses a combined set of consumer credit files, okay? So the two different score models weigh different credit reports and files against each other differently, all right? The next difference between the FICO and Venture score is that the FICO requires you to have at least six months of credit history with one report with one account being reported within the last six months. While the Vantage Score only requires you to have two months of history. So basically, if you are new to credit or you want to start building your credit, the Vantage Score would be generated faster or within two months, but it will take a little bit longer for the FICO score to be generated. Next, we have the late payments. The FICO treats all late payments the same. All right, we're gonna go over these weights in a different video and how all of these are weighed differently typically, but the FICO will treat all late payments the same. The Vantage score judges the late payments differently while penalizing the late mortgage payments more harshly than any other types of credit. Overall, late credit card payments will be judged about the same for FICO and Vantage score models. If you have ever been told to look for a car or a mortgage within the next 30 days, this is the reasoning behind it. The FICO typically uses a 45 day span to deduplicate your credit increase, meaning that they will count all of those increases done within 45 days for an auto loan or for a mortgage or for any type of loan will be deduplicated or reduced down to just one entry. But they will only consider mortgages, auto loans, and student loans for the FICO. On the other hand, the Vantage score will limit it only to 14 days. So they would be looking at multiple hard inquiries, all types of credit, including credit cards. So that's something that you want to take in consideration when you are looking to purchase your home. Lastly, we have low balance collections. So the FICO ignores all collections where the original balance was under $100. And it also doesn't count the collection if it's already paid off. While the Vantage Score ignores only paid collection accounts, and it doesn't matter what the original balance is, even if it was under $100. These are the five differences between the FICO and Vantage Score. So whenever you see that credit alert go off and your credit score rolls on Credit Karma because your Vantage Score went up a little bit, and then your FICO price shot up way higher, that is the reason why, because there are so many different variables that can be causing both of those different scores to shift. Again, I want to remind you that these are not the only two scores that lenders are going to be looking at when they look to see if they are going to approve you for a loan or any type of type of credit. Oh, this video is helpful and I can't wait to speak to you guys again tomorrow in this 30 day challenge.